Hi. Hey, Tish. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Very, very good. The beautiful Tish Sirvala. Hi. Yes. So, uh, Flattery will get you everywhere, by the yes, way. Yes. So you want to talk more about how beautiful I am or how awesome the guitar company is? Where are we going with this? <laughs> I think we'll do a little bit of both today. Oh, oh awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, so Tish uh, runs this great company called Daisy Rock Guitars. Many of you people might be familiar or, or, or have seen it. It's a, it's, a, it's a really cool guitar company. They make great sounding instruments. But it's sort of aimed at the gals out of there. Out, in the market as opposed to guys. Can you just tell us, like, give us a little bit of uh, company background? Sure. Daisy Rock Girl Guitars is a company I founded in 2000. And the whole idea of it is to get more girls to learn how to play guitar. But it came from a very organic problem that I experienced as a bass player in the 80s. I went to buy my very first bass, and my boyfriend and the guy behind the counter decided what I should get because girls didn't go into music stores, and they didn't really know how to handle girls coming into music stores. And then when I got that bass, I took it home. I couldn't play it. It was like a baseball bat. It was so big and bulky and heavy. I actually took it back the next day. What was it? It was, um, you know, P bass. <laughs> I don't want to say the other names. So you um, should have at least get, gotten you a Mustang. You, I know, you. but that's not what was on the wall. Yeah. And so I got a, I ended up with a, a Yamaha BX1, which was like a Steinberger rip at that time, headless yep. bass, very thin. Mm -hmm. And so I always had this experience where everything that I played was really big and bulky. And that was the first time I ever felt like there's really nothing for me. And then, of course, you know, my husband is president of Schechter Guitars, and he actually built me a couple of basses way early in the beginning that I could play. And then one day my daughter did a drawing of a daisy, and I put a neck and a headstock on this little teeny drawing that she did, and I took it to my husband, and I said, you know, we should make guitars for girls. And he kind of said, well, what does that mean? And I said, well, let's try to answer all those problems that I had as a female musician. Let's make it lighter in weight with a slumber neck profile, and then let's make it fun and sparkly color so all the girls will want to learn how to play. And immediately, anybody that was my age that saw that went, of course, I want that. So then we immediately went, okay, so we are the girl guitar company now. Well, I'm not only a fan, but also a consumer. I, I bought my daughter a Daisy Rock when she was first learning how to play. Whoop, whoop, we all win, we all win. Fantastic. Uh, I was a roadie when she played some Avril Lavigne at her talent show. That is awesome. <laughs> but uh, I know a lot of uh, grown gals that, that play the Daisy Rock guitars too. So this isn't just for beginners. Uh, Tish makes fantastic sounding guitars. And um, sort of wondering what's new in the line this year. Okay, so I had a big shakeup this year because I am no longer associated with Alfred Music. You know, they went into a, just being a publishing company and they're not doing any distribution anymore. And so I had to make a couple of calls and find a new home, which I found a new home at KMC Music this year. So I have a new booth. I'm over at 5740. And I am in a great family brand there. There's Marshall and Washburn and um, Digitech. Yeah. And like all the, and Hamer, they brought back Hamer oh, wow. and Daisy Rock. That, that's big news in the show is that Hamer's coming back. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm right there next to him. So they're very cutting edge. And you can tell that they're like, let's get in the girls market. We're missing the boat on this. Let's, let's have you bring in, bringing Daisy Rock in and... And, um, and they really want to help me redefine the company more for the professional player this year. Yeah. So we're starting with some baby steps, bringing the old classics back, and then we plan on really growing the line with them. Uh, we've talked a little bit uh, earlier today with uh, Laura Whitmore about her She Rocks Awards, and, and Tish is actually playing a bit of a part in that. Uh, you're going to be co-host? I'm the co-host with Christine Devine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think all the windows just shattered. Um, yeah, I'm really excited because, you know, I was talking to Christine and she was like, okay, so I'm the professional, you get to be funny. And I went, that's perfect for me. I'm, except I was told I can't really talk anything about, you know, I can't do any of my really dirty jokes. But, you know, it's the She Rocks Awards. Uh, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Oh, Laura's like, wait. <laughs> no, it's going to be so much fun. And it's the energy of seeing all these women that are they're so deserving of it. And it's about time that they, you know, it's like the long, it's like one of the things Laura says, always says, the longer you wait, the more people that are going to be there and appreciate you. This is year number five. I was one of the very first recipients. I got one of the very first awards they ever yep. gave out. And I know it's, it's just, it's really heartwarming. Well, the thing is, is there is drinking at the She Rocks Awards. <laughs> so, so, so we know at some point. 
<laughs> you know, the dirty jokes are just going to have to to come out. But but you are doing uh, some stand up. I am. I am. This last year, I went out and started doing some stand up uh, comedy. I've been performing a lot at Flappers and Burbank. And what's the greatest part about doing stand-up comedy is I get to culminate all these situations that happen to me as a mother and as a musician. Yes. So I'll just tell you one little situation that happened to me. So my, when you have kids and they're like three years old and they're running around your house totally, completely nude and not a care in the world, they're totally fun, right? I do that right? Right? <laughs> so my daughter now is 18 uh-huh. and she's still doing it. And it's like topless and short shorts is like her favorite thing. So we fight nonstop about this. The other night, there she was on the couch, topless, short shorts, TV, computer, phone. I walked into the bedroom, took off all my clothes, came out, sat next to her on the couch, and I said, well, I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Do you, I mean, most, most stand-up these days is sort of like, you know, observational and that kind of thing, but do you know any good just jokes about musicians? Do you have any <laughs> musician, like, jokes with, like, Punchlines? No, that's no, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, nothing that I, I feel like I have keep it a little clean. So, uh, okay, but you know, I can okay. work on those for you before tomorrow night if that's something you want on stage to uh, hear. Absolutely. I'm sure if you walked in that booth, there would be a joke at every booth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you. You told us that you're a bass player. Are you still playing? Oh, yeah. I play bass in an uh, 80s band called Gene Loves Jezebel. Oh, yeah. I do. My husband plays guitar, and I play bass. And um, they kind of got the revolving door of musicians that come in and play every once in a while. But we played in Tucson last August, and about 5,000 people at a casino. So that was a lot of fun. Gene loves Jezebel loves Menudo. Is that? <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> we do these things called Lost 80s. So it's like us and Thompson Twins and Animotion and Naked Eye and all those bands you remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's that's fun. That's exciting. Have you had a chance to uh, look around the show at all? And uh, have you seen anything cool other than your own fine products? You know what I saw cool was Rick Nelson from Cheap Trick walk into my booth and tell me that he's the biggest fan of Daisy Rock ever. <laughs> Well, you need to make him a five-neck Daisy Rock. That <laughs> no. would be awesome. I, yeah, bet you, he, I bet you would play it, too. I bet he would, too. <laughs> no, I haven't seen a lot. It's day one, but um, have you seen some stuff that's out there? What do you think? Have you seen anything? I've seen so many weird things. Like, people are really doing bizarre stuff with guitars, especially this mm-hmm. year. There's a whole section in the middle of the NAM show, a whole sort of island of just weird uh, guitars. One, one guy actually came up to me and said, here, check this out. And he proceeded to basically take apart the whole guitar. First he pulled out the pickup section, pushed a different pick, pitch up, pickup section next. Then he turned a, his Strat by sort of unsnapping it into a flying V. And then he said, well, what kind of... Uh, what kind of fretboard do you like? Wow. And uh, he pulled off the maple fretboard and put in the rosewood fretboard. What? It was the craziest thing. It was like a Legos guitar. Yeah, that's like... And he said, look at you know, you can turn this guitar into uh, uh, any kind of guitar that you want. And of course, my question was, yeah, but do any of them sound any good? <laughs> I think I would have been like, what drugs were you on when you thought of that concept? Make it any guitar. It's like a puzzle piece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, it's weird. I, I'm, I'm a guitar fan, but I'm also, I dig myself some electronic music too. Yeah. And I saw that uh, Korg was bringing back the ARP Odyssey, so mm-hmm. that was a little exciting for me too. Mm-hmm. Those are those are my finds so far. I'm looking right. forward to looking more at looking at the show, um, you know, over the course of the next few days. Right. I always come, every now I notice that there's something else for women. Because when I started my company 17 years ago, as the only girl guitar company, there was really nothing for women on the floor. But now I'm kind of see the, the, the influence is all over the place, from drums to clarinets to saxophones to keyboards to everything beyond the guitar world. And I, every time I come to NAMM, I see something else that someone's thought of. We're going to try to make this more female friendly. But... As a, as a musician, I mean, who who did you who did you look up to, though? Was it just women musicians or men, women? 
I mean... Uh, well, I grew up in uh, Northern California, so uh, you couldn't get away from Fleetwood Mac and the Eagles. And, um, but, you know, Susie Quattro was my very first influence. When she was on Happy Days, this leather Tuscadero, hello. Yes. I was like, that's super cool. Um, well, I'm a Detroiter. So yeah, I, I've had a crush on Susie a long time. for a very long right. time. So, but you know, I, I really, when I moved to LA, I thought, well, I'm going to be in the Bengals. Of course I'll be in the Bengals. Yes. <laughs> Little did I know Mickey still already had that position and she was a really great bass player. So, um, and there was like five girl bands in LA at that time in the, like the early eighties. So I went right into punk rock and, um, but, but we've been talking about girls and guys, but I think really ultimately the great thing about music and musicians is you know, when it's all done right, it's neither male nor female, you know? Like, we, we, we can have all sorts of heroes. I, I definitely, like, one of my favorite uh, new bands is The Savages. Okay. And the guitar player in that, which who's a woman, is one of the greatest new guitar players I've heard, period. And I also have a new record that <laughs> just came out. That Really? Yes. What's that called? that uh, I produce for Steve Vai's label called She Rocks Volume 1. And it features all sorts of great women guitarists. So anyways, we just want to keep that coming. That's awesome. And uh, thank you so much for Thank you so much for having me. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Daisy Rock Guitars. Bye.